Good afternoon, all. Well, it is time to go to Nevada. Now, we may have a little bit of an issue getting over to the Sierras. They're talking like three inches of snow, but hopefully by the time we get there, they'll have that cleaned off. After that, looks like smooth sailing. Okay, well, I'm gonna get this thing loaded, so uh, I'll be ready to go. snowing a little bit ago but we got I don't know like an hour or something like that drive on this this road so I thought well to kill the time let's talk about placer gold in Nevada there are over 115 around 115 mining districts in Nevada and they've taken out over 1,700,000 ounces of gold out of this state. Now, a lot of the gold in this state is load gold. You know, the state's uh, really the silver was the big thing in this state. But what we're after is placer gold. That's what we're looking for. So that's what we're going to talk about. Most of the placer deposits are derived from uh, veins of gold that have weathered and eroded and uh, basically travel locally. Now some of the deposits, uh, their source is unknown, but the majority of them is just weathered veins. Now most of the uh, plaster mining was done for ni before 1900. And it was mainly done with rocker boxes, sluice boxes, dry washers, and they, it was all pretty much small scale. Um, a lot of the mining was done by Chinese that were working on the railroad and after they finished the railroad they, they needed work so they went to the mining, went to the gold fields. Looks like we got a roadblock. Now we do have a uh, full size truck pulling a trailer with a side by side up in the lead so I don't know if he's got an issue up there or not. Well we had to stop and unload the trailer, take the quad off because uh, the truck slid over and got in a soft spot and couldn't get, get up the hill. And uh, of course, I didn't get one bit of it on film. Never did say I was good at this. Now there's not a whole lot about the, you know, Nevada gold. Be, you know, because of the, the, it was done early when there wasn't a lot of records, and then you know the uh, the huge silver deposits that were found just overshadowed, you know, the gold. The Nevada, you know, it's known as the Silver State. Now, most of the the placer mining was done from 1860 to 1880s, and. Uh, there was a lot of uh, small uh, discoveries all over the state during this period. It's hard to know how much gold was found uh, in the early years because a lot of it was find, found by the Chinese and they were very secretive about you know where they were working and uh, you know what they were finding because you know if they found anything that was any good they'd be run off. So they were pretty tight-lipped about, you know, their discoveries and what they found. Now the, the really cool thing about looking for gold out here is I'm a river guy. 
you know, I've spent all my life learning how to uh, find gold on the river. There's no rivers out here. <laughs> so I'm kind of like the babe in the woods out here. So it's, uh, to me, it's kind of exciting. Um, I tried to, to learn how the gold got there, but each district is, is so different, it's really hard. So you basically just got to go by gut feeling, and once you get to an area, you really have to pay attention to the gold you find when you find it. You know, what kind of rocks, uh, you know, everything about that spot. So you can accumulate and hopefully a pattern will develop and that'll allow you to find a little more gold. Now, Todd just stopped. I don't know if he's got a problem or if he's trying to get me stuck, so I gotta put it in four wheel drive. Well, found out what the problem was. He was uh, stuck in four wheel low, couldn't get it out of four wheel low. Well, he's moving right along now, so he must have got it out. Day two. I don't know if you call this uh, day one or day two. Day well, technically it is day two because I did go out detecting yesterday. We got in, set camp up. It was still raining and snowing, and uh, it finally broke off. And Bennett and I decided to go out for a couple hours before dark, and I beat the skunk. I got me a piece of gold. Let me show you that first thing. Yeah, here we got the piece of gold, not real big, but it definitely uh, gets me out of the skunk category. Yesterday was tough because there was still snow on the ground, which is almost gone. It's, a, it's amazing how fast it's uh, melting. But the ground was wet, it was muddy, uh, really sticky clay. It was horrible digging conditions. <laughs> Matter of fact, I got so frustrated, I almost threw that piece of gold away because I couldn't get the clay off my fingers. I couldn't, it was terrible. <laughs> Today, I think we're uh, gonna be a lot easier digging situation. Okay, well, everybody's already gone. So I'm gonna gather up my gear. Let's head out, see if we can find a little bit of gold now. I'm not going to be able to take the camera with me because there's too much co country to travel. Now, if I do find me a patch, then I can mark it, go get the camera gear, and we can do it that way. But today, it's going to be pretty much exploring and just kind of give you a feel for what's going on. Well, good afternoon, all. Yesterday didn't turn out as planned. Uh, I made a mistake of following Bennett, and I'm here to tell you we covered some country. 
Now it wasn't a bad mistake because I ended up getting nine pieces yesterday. None of them big, but I got nine pieces. Today, we started out early and we've been all over the place trying to find a, a new spot. And up till about 10 minutes ago, and it's pretty close to one o'clock, I had no gold, but right here, I found my first piece of gold. And my Jeep is only like 50 feet away. So I thought, well, I actually got a camera. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna pull some of this dirt back, pull off a couple of inches, and see if we can pick up another target since we know there was a piece of gold right here and it was down about two inches deep and uh let's see if we can turn up a couple more targets because i'm here to tell you they've been hard to come by today okay first off let me show you the gold from yesterday and then i'll show you the piece i got today okay now this is the 10 pieces this is the one from my first day is in there and this is the nine pieces i got yesterday this is the piece i just got a few minutes ago okay i'm gonna pull some dirt back and then uh see if we can find another target now when you do this you want to start out low because you don't have to move, don't want to move the gravel more than you have to. And basically all I'm doing is I'm pulling off a couple of inches and just making it flat more than anything so the, the loop can get closer to the ground. We're going to use this bush as our edge of our area. I went over the area, nothing. I pulled down the second one, went over the area, and I have a light target in the pile of dirt I pulled back. Let me show you. Okay, it's light, but it sounds good. Let's dig it up, see what it is. Okay, we got something in the scoop. I'm not sure if that's the same target because it's awfully light. little piece of iron now let's check the hole make sure that was our target because that was a lot lighter than it was to begin with okay we still got a target still got it See anything? Oh, we got gold. There we go. Not a monster, but it's a piece of gold. Okay, I'm gonna pull another layer down. See if there's any more in there for us. I don't know about this. Probably only mid to low 60s and i'm dying this is too much like real work okay pull down another one went up pull down another uh layer nothing i just finished pulling down the second layer i'm gonna check it and hopefully we'll get something out of here well let's run it through again nothing in the area i pulled down but right on the edge up on top i got a light target let me show you well it's pretty light but it sounds good 
What I think I'm going to do, since I got this all nice and flat here, I'm going to just pull that down, spread it out, see if we can find it that way. I think it'll be a little quicker. Okay, since we know this is free of targets, we can pull it all down here, spread it out a little bit, hopefully make it easier. Okay, let's see if we can find it. Boy, that got a lot louder. Big chunk of lead. Sounds like we got another target up higher. I see gold. Well, it's not a bad beast. Let me show you. And right there. Not real big, but it's kind of chunky. Well, I pulled it down twice more. I'm not getting any targets at all. And uh, I think I'm gonna give it one more go. And if I don't get any targets, I think we're out of here because it's been a good half hour, 45 minutes. And I told Bennett I'd meet him on top of the hill about a half hour, 45 minutes ago. <laughs> so let's give it a, I'm going to do one more pull, see if we can come up with one more target. Okay, well, I got nothing, so I'm going to pack everything up. Let's go see if we can find Bennett. And I got no idea where Todd and Dano are. Um, uh, Swamper and Cameraman, they went to a totally different site. Uh, we won't see them until this evening. tell my uh, video is a little uh, jumpy <laughs> well out there it's really tough to film because you cover so much ground in a day and you know you can't pack the camera around while you're metal detecting and it could be a half a mile in between targets so uh, you film when you can okay well I got that gold all cleaned up it's sitting over here by the scale. What do you say we jump over there and see how we did? Okay, we ended up with a total of 15 pieces. And that's my largest piece, 1.14 grams. That's not bad. And then the total is 4.24 grams. 
a little over four grams, I'm okay with that. Now, that trip was great. I just, I love the desert in the spring. And we were actually pretty lucky on the weather. Uh, it was a bit muddy when we got there, but uh, it was beautiful the rest of the trip. Um, sunshine, it dried right out. It was a great, great trip. The only problem we had was that place has been hit hard. We're going to have to find a new spot. Now we ended up coming home a couple days early um, and we decided to uh, use that time to check out a, a couple of new spots uh, here local. And that worked out okay for me too because I picked up a couple of pieces of gold there. But our next camping trip going to be in the Sierras and I can't wait for the snow to pull back enough to head on up there. Well, right now, I've got to get out of here because now i got to put everything away and get everything ready to go for back to normal life. <laughs> All right, well, you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video.